Good morning. We are here. Look, it's hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a band of misfits. We here, y'all. We here. We live and live in color. And it is way too early for anybody's shit this morning. Yeah, yeah. So have... Yes, indeed. I saw What's going you on? Your radio debut last night. <laughs> man, little 420 boys, man. Shout out to Big Old, Pastor Green Thong, DJ Lil Shirt. And the real, and the real, and the good Trump. <laughs> okay, pass the green thumb. Yes, so, indeed. Uh, do you know My DJ cousin. Lewis shirt, DJ Lewis shirt in love with me. Oh, for real? Hey, Chuck Jackson. Did, did he tell you that? Nah, he ain't tell me. Hey, Reverend Bowie. I know you miss me. I'm here. Joe Jack. Oh, what Joe up, dude? What up, Joe? I heard you had a bomb. Show on Saturday, and the report was you were funny. Joe Jack ripped it. Joe Jack did his thing. He did. Yeah, yeah, so, great host. Monroe, I don't know what happened, but all my pictures are gone. I have zero pictures. Nothing in the lobby. Oh no. Yeah, I don't have anything. So what's up? Let's keep it flowing. Keep it flowing. What's up? What, what, what we talking about today? Anything and everything and absolutely nothing. <laughs> so in true, it's too early for this, that shit fashion, huh? This is called lipstick. I'm called this. I got I got the two ladies. I got the lipstick show today. Ah. Everybody pop it. Everybody oh, pop it. The lipstick and, pop it. And I different hues, honey. Monroe and I are trying something new, y'all. So y'all know we are completely transparent on this show because we are fucked up, basically. And we love it. We like it just like that. So, okay, something just came back. So, we are trying to co-produce this show from different locations. Good morning, Bree Bree. How you doing? What's up, Bree? Hey, Bree. I don't know where Dale going. Dale, where you going? I'm on my um, I'm I'm back to the airport on my way to law. I got to take care of a couple of business today. Then I'm going to Delaware this weekend. There you go. Stop lying, Dale. You on your way to go get your bed, Jerry Curl. Make sure get it get, get them juices flowing again for the weekend. <laughs> no, actually, if we got anybody, actually, if that. we got anybody in the Delaware area, near Wilmington, Delaware, me and my brother will be at the um, Riverfront at an antique and art show. He does fine art. He's a painter, excellent oh, artwork. Man. Look him up at Sean Murray Fine Art on IG, uh, Facebook. He does great work. Come check us out. Okay. Now the true, now the true question is because he does fine art, is he fine? Hey man, birds of a feather flock together. Oh! So that means there's no point in coming, lady. <laughs> oh! Who wants tomorrow? Who wants tomorrow? I'm just, what, nah, she, I'm what, just, for, what for Monroe? Monroe got one in here. Okay. You his mouth open and everything, girl. You did that. <laughs> well, so, thank you. Let's get into it. Go, Monroe. Okay, so about? okay, so it's completely too early for this shit here. Now, this woman in Detroit, from Detroit decided that just because she was seven months pregnant, don't mean this bitch don't know how to twerk. Okay. Listen, when I tell you this bitch was twerking her ass off something fifthly at seven months pregnant that this bitch twerked off and ended up winning the championship, twerk champion, okay? Like, I'm I, I'm completely baffled at this. Like, now, um, now a gynecologist from the American College recommends that, you know, women get 30 minutes of, you know, exercise per day. However, now, I don't consider... Working and exercise, but okay. Says and then, who? Um, what's her name? Let me see. It's the uh, and no, it just says a guy, uh, the guy in the car, uh, a guy in the no, car. No, I'm like, saying you said you don't consider twerking an exercise. I mean, it's I a said, says who? Okay, now I'll it's, give the twerk. I tell I'll you what, every time I Endeavor. Shit. <laughs> <A twerk move. laughs> nigga, nigga, for your ass, this is an exercise and weight training. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'll give you that. It is a workout. However, 
the part that you know could have caused the baby harm is that this bitch signature move is a death drop into a split. Okay, now that's what had her win the grand prize of this twerk contest when she dropped down in that death split, honey, and slayed the crowd and almost slayed her child. Okay. Now wait a minute. This was a contest. Yeah, a twerk contest that this seven-month uh, pregnant woman decided that she wanted to be a part of because she did the coins, honey, and she received all one hundred dollars of those coins. Okay, she did all that for a hundred dollars wow. for one day. So she risked the baby's life for a hundred dollars. and all that. So, stuff. so she was going up against other twerkers. Not that there's any yeah. amount of money that makes it make sense, but. Yeah, if she was going up against other twerkers. That bitch has slayed, slayed the twerk session and almost slayed her child for a hundred dollars. I'm being right. The actual story should be the other women that have been a contest twerker. Okay, I'm losing you. Okay, Kim, I'm losing you. I don't know what the hell he's trying to say, but it ain't oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's better. Go ahead. What were you trying to say? I say whoever whoever was in that contest would have killed herself, killed herself. Oh, <laughs> you let a pregnant woman beat you yeah. and twerk. Kill yourself. You should never twerk again. Wait. So you gonna say kill yourself because you let the pregnant woman twerk, not because you participated in the debauchery? That okay. Was the pregnant you let so the pregnant woman they beat you. Kill they self because they lost. Not because they let a pregnant woman. They let a pregnant woman out twerk them. And I mean, for you to twerk, you got to be real loose. And that's and in your third trimester, like when you that loose and you twerk, and don't you start to sprinkle a little bit when you you know move around? Well, you, clearly this was not her first all over the place rodeo. So. She 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 got to be married or getting married because she twerking like that. Is she pregnant? Imagine when she ain't pregnant. That's how she got ain't married nobody yet. All right, next. So, in true throwback Thursday fashion, we broke the news of, you know, our Kelly's crisis manager, you know, going on the show with Gail King and talking about how she would never allow his 20 year old to be left alone with our Kelly. So, literally, wow. I was, so literally, I, can you hear me? So literally hours later, he actually decides to quit. Oh, I think fired. Said, yeah, exactly. I think it's that to get fired. So he decided to one up him and quit. So here's what he says, right? I should have worded it better. I would leave my daughter with Kelly because I do not believe he is a pedophile. This has been so. Then they proceeded to talk about his resignation, and he says this has nothing to do with Mr. Kelly. It is for my own purpose. You could actually take that off because <laughs> we're not in the same house. So, yeah. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's it's worse. Go ahead. He said what now? Is it plugged in? Is it plugged? Did you unplug it? What the head off? Did you unplug it? Yeah. Okay, now we can hear you. And please like and share the worst show ever. (laughs) The absolute worst. This is the most prepared, unprepared show ever. What did he say? He said, please, I can share this feed, and I don't What did R. Kelly's crisis manager say? Oh, oh, okay. So, yeah. So, pretty much, he was saying, so he tried to retain his payment. <laughs> and he was all of y'all got with it. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. And then this nigga going in and out sounding like Thor. Uh, he sounded like he got a voice about <laughs> <laughs> you, your batteries are running low. Did you what kind of are you using the dollar store batteries in your voice box? He in, I sure you get some door he in a bad location, Dale. You gotta call back in. Cause you are breaking up something terrible. Go ahead, Lord. Monroe. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, so pretty much, you know, he said he did for personal reasons, but clearly his ass got fired. Who, the uh, crisis manager got fired? Daryl Johnson, yeah, absolutely, clearly. He pretended he didn't, right? 
Yeah, and he looks like a dinosaur, don't he? Okay, Dale looks like he's back now. Let me see. He looks like a tortoise. He yeah. does. He doesn't look normal. No, he looks Can like a Can you see him, Dale? Yeah, I see him. He does not look normal. No. But you know, he reminds me of somebody. Lee Daniels. He do look like Lee Daniels. With that, yeah. shit on his, with that shit on his chin. No, look at that mouth. Look at that, that whole posture. Look at how he holds his lips. That is Lee Daniels all day long. He don't look human. He's giving credit. He, he does look a little gargoyle-ish. Yeah. But he Lee does look Vampire in Brooklyn, too, bitch. That's what he giving. He giving what? Vampire in Brooklyn, bitch. <laughs> he give it Eddie Murphy little brother. Wait, vampire. Everybody. Hey, that's how he look in his suits, though. He do look like that, like vampire bro. Oh my god! Yes. That is so brilliant. listen, I, I I lost controls again, uh, Moreau. Hey, what's up, Big Who? Welcome to the party. What's like up, Big Who? Appreciate it. Four twenty, definitely. The spot to be at, y'all. Every Wednesday night and night, check out Big Hove them and pass the green thumb and little shirt on goddamn 420 Radio Rip Network. I think it's absolutely hilarious. Every time you play little shirt, I think that's just so funny. DJ Little Shirt. Did, remember I told you the story behind DJ Little Shirt? Yeah, you said Hope gave him that name, right? No, uh, Queen Aisha. Oh, okay. Because he came somewhere, they were doing a show. And he had on a little teeny wrinkled up t-shirt, which seems to be his signature look. Don't ask me why. He's like seven foot tall, but his t-shirts oh, don't they all seem to be midriff-ish. Now, did you say crop top ish? Ish. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, box. welcome to the party, Big Hoom. I'm sorry I couldn't make it. So we gotta all come back, the whole team. And just because I know it's a, a good time, 420 Friendly Radio, that's off the no BS, y'all. It is definitely a good time. What, so, Bree, okay, Bree, she says she's going to call me about the frame leather. Okay, okay. girl. <laughs> Bree, you've been calling about that frame leather for a month. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, you, wait, you must still got a phone that got the free weekends and all that. You <laughs> she waiting she wait, she wait to get her minutes back up to call y'all about the leather. We coming home, me, Monroe, Lil I'm Timmy, down for the call. We're going to have fun. All I'm, right, so what's going on with Miss Monique, honey? I see you got Monique in the news. Poor baby. Poor, she's still talking, child. She won't let none of that shit go. So she was on. Um, she didn't Wait enter- a minute. Don't hate on her. Let her go hit on experience. I mean, I'm, 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 I love Can Monique. Okay, for the crowd. I love her, but she got to let that shit go. Like, so she did an interview yesterday talking about, I mean, well, was it yesterday? Whatever. She did an interview the other day. And it was for Comedy Hype, if I'm not mistaken. And um, she started talking about the Steve Harvey stuff. And then she went on to start talking about my mother, Oprah, and why that situation is the way it is now. So apparently when she did, um, the when she broke the news about her brother, you know, molesting her and the family was on Oprah, she told Oprah that she didn't want to be involved with it if her brother was going to be on the show. And... Um, Oprah said okay, and that she wouldn't have them on the show. And then so, some... so we getting an echo. I don't know why. You hear it, now? I hear the echo, but okay, I don't that's think... better. Whatever you just did, it went away. Do it again. I just started talking. No, it's back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep saying what she said. So, um, so she talked about Mama Oprah. Yes, honey. Did she, she call her about- that? Did she refer to her as Mama Oprah? No, not at all, honey. Not at oh, all. Wow. She was giving Oprah. She Ugh. said, and then what really pissed her off was because she had her mother on the show, and she don't fuck with her mother. So she said, when she said, if she would have told her that her mother was coming on the show, she would have told her to cancel that whole, shut that whole production down. Wait, Steve had her mother on the show? No, Oprah had her mother oh, wait, and her two brothers. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said she got to let that old shit go, that throwback shit. She got to let that go, honey. Yeah, and that's why she said, and so Monique started to talk about how um, that uh, 
uh, her brother was is a con artist, and you know, and that's why he didn't. That's why she didn't want to do the show with him because he's a con artist. Oh, yeah, okay. she said she wanted nothing to do with that cat. No, oh, this is what she said. She said the nigga that I know is a scammer, and I don't want anything to do with it. Oh, yeah, and so, so that- look, look who finally decided to come to work. Oh, look at that- this clown. <laughs> what up, I bet, I bet what's, what's up, Joe? What's up, what's so up Timmy? Both of y'all where you going? Where you going to the gym? No, nah, I'm riding low. I'm taking care of some business. I gotta go out of town. Oh, okay, all right, man. Niggas, I, was I ain't going. To, I ain't going. I ain't going to New York. I'm going to Delaware. <laughs> all right, boy. What's up, y'all? Uh, how, was hey, how, how was your sandwich? How was your sandwich last night? Did you get enough mayonnaise on it? Nah. Ah. 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 Okay, so my bro, go ahead. So we talking, little Timmy. We talking about Monique. Now hell no, hey Timmy. I'm glad you here, cause goddamn, she got ADHD, and Mama in the room with with the door closed and echoing everywhere, and they jump around. Oh, oh, about, so you could hear the echo. Background noise. Yeah, but you you the one you bring out every little thing you hear. Just keep going. You, Monroe, Ma- 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 talking, and then all of a sudden, Monroe Lou, what she talking about? And they start talking about Fruit Loops and shit. I'm like, what the hell is y'all doing? <laughs> and Timmy, you know I can't take them noises. What the fuck is you over there, Captain America, bro? You got the world. What the fuck is that? 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 What I miss you, little Timmy Boo Boo. What's up, man? How y'all been? We've been great. So listen, okay, let's um go into this Monique situation. Monique is still bitter because she hasn't ex- received any closure. That's Absolutely. the real thing. So, so um, hold on. Bro, we were talking about how Monique is still talking about that whole Wendy and you know Lee Daniels thing, right? But the the fact of the matter is, she has not gotten any closure, so she's still feeling a way about it. But she also, so this is what she said though. This is what was the 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 key key right here. So when she started talking about Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey had did an interview with D.L. Hughley, and he was talking about how he had to edit the show with Monique to protect her, right? Yeah. And so Monique said that she told him to air the entire episode because she did not say anything that she did not want to be aired. She said that he edited the episode and what you didn't see was Steve Harvey going all talking about and these white boys knew that they they wanted to do it this way and these white boys knew that they wasn't paying you right and these white boys he started calling out the Caucasian men that do all the funding and everything like that so what he did was he edited that part out so that the millions of other white boys wouldn't see so what she was trying to hint to was that the white boys behind the Exactly. That's what she yeah, was he still got the fired. white boys behind so the camera he heard it and out. he got fired. So yeah. He edited the, the shit out to protect himself, not Absolutely. her. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Little Timmy, we well, over. Probably yeah. didn't. Go ahead. Fucked up anyway. She should have just ran. She should have took the Netflix special. That was dope. That would have brought it back out. You mm-hmm. a lot of people do not know, know her. A lot of people do not know her. This is that was a way to introduce yourself. Well, to reintroduce up. yourself. And, I, and think, yeah. I, think me and Tim, I think me and Timmy had that conversation Saturday, right? Yep. Really? She messed up. Well, you know. The like she should. She should have just took that. She should have took that money, got that exposure, took herself on a, a 20, 30 city tour, and sold out because now people know who you are. And uh, then you go back for a second special and blow the motherfucker out of the, out of the water. Well, I don't know about that. I think we give Netflix way too much motherfucking credit, first of all. I don't watch half the shit. I have had a Netflix special uh membership for I don't know how long. I don't watch Well your Wi Fi fucked up, so that don't make no difference. No, I don't watch <laughs> half the specials that come out on Netflix. Most people ain't watching that shit like that. So no, millions of people watch that. Millions of people watch it. A lot of people don't. So nah. the thing is 
like if it's new comics that's just getting Netflix specials, they may or may not get seen. You know what I'm saying? People tend to watch the ones that they know of or that they hear but about. But she will get seen. I think and she would. And I that's why would. she should have did it. What'd you say? No, I was saying, and that's that furthermore proves the reason why she should have did the Netflix special because you don't know her anymore now. You know, people so, don't. So the, that would have been a reintroduction right. of the show to the new said. era. Right. So she she ain't got nothing going on. She's not relevant right now. What exactly was the reason she said no, though? The money. I mean, how much was she getting? Five hundred. I didn't mean that. How much money was she getting? Five hundred. No, I think they offered her twenty two two fifty. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, Nick, you too busy out fighting crime with that bra. You ain't watching Netflix. You fighting crime. You out there fighting crime with that Captain America shit on. That's right. It's called the titty bounce. Knock a nigga into next week. Boom. What? <laughs> Watch it, sucker. <laughs> you got that Lord, I, I, I'm getting sleepy driving. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying he was bored. <laughs> <laughs> that, he know, you know that nigga going to Burger King. Yeah, you know, that, you know, that, that's why he's sleepy. You know, Delaware says fried shit. You know, Delaware got the best Burger King. <laughs> oh, they do. That nigga driving all the way to Delaware for Burger King. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So what's going <laughs> on with Ice, Monroe? So Ice um, is definitely under fire. Um, they went to, you know, Donald Trump is trying oh, that. Shit again. They went to um, go apprehend one of the suspects, right? So not only did they try to apprehend him, but they followed his ass all, all the way from his house. I mean, from uh, where he was and followed him all the way to his house to try to, like, you know, apprehend him. But he did not get the fuck out the car. He was in the car with his child. He called all the advocates in the community that, you know, that was trying to protect immigrants. And these motherfuckers swarmed around his car, like, linked hands and chains and shit, and was like, you won't be taking this one. No. Yeah. No it hell. A, it was a van, out. actually, wasn't it? Huh? He was, like, in a van or something? They yeah, he was, it was him and his son in a van. People started bringing them. They were out there so long that he was starting to run out of gas. People was bringing him gas to put in the car. They was bringing him food and shit. Because, I mean, they were doing all of that. Yeah, because apparently ICE can't enter a, a vehicle or a, your home, right? Yeah, they cannot. So as long as you're in your home or your vehicle, they will uh, not be able to apprehend you. Absolutely. Which is a good thing. So they made a human, they formed a human chain around this van mm -hmm. and the INS uh, workers had to watch him get out of the van and walk into the house. I would have turned around and said, yeah, bitches. <laughs> yeah, <I'm serious. laughs> uh, I That's watched serious. it. I was like this. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. I was so crazy. happy when he got out and went into the house. Absolutely. I was waiting for him to turn around and say, "Now, nah, bitches, I know my motherfucking rights." Thank <laughs> you. It was good. It was good to see that you know, like they supported him and that they uh, were able to. He was Mexican. Huh? Yeah. Was <laughs> hey, Bree, you tried that. That is funny. Yes, we are. Yeah. They were Latino, yes, because I and oh, them now. They they gonna get them when they get that commercial on the TV about um Burger King got the taco dollar taco. They gonna get them. You know what? Uh, <laughs> they gonna leave out. He gonna leave out the house then. Good morning, Angie. Make it welcome to the party. That is funny. So wait, Big Hoop is being so racialist right He's now. He's stupid. That's hilarious. <laughs> That is so true. But I bet it's true. You was a whole bunch of them in blackface. <laughs> All of them in blackface. Uh, uh, Best are so racialist right now. That is hilarious. Big Hoob, you wrong as shit. That's funny. So, rumor has it that there's a new weave on the scene. New weave? 
New week. Yes. So your boy LeBron got his man weed on. So y'all what? know his yeah, so you know he was balding and receding all the way at the top of his crown, honey. He had a receding well, he, hair. Yeah. And he was going bald in the middle. So what he decided to do was hit up a, a, a skilled barber in the man weed department. Man, all them. That's that's his shit right there. Like that shit is horrible. He and so he hit up his barber. He hit up the barber, and now he got his new his new do on. Oh shit! You got the picture of the new do? That's the old do, right there. Bye. Oh okay. Got his new do right. on. Got his Did new. She- his new frontal lace front. Ah. Oh, ain't no wrong. Look, you see your boy Tiger Woods? That shit is fucked up. Nah, I ain't see Tiger. Shit, Tiger Woods had fucked. And then, like, he put his head a bunch of piranhas and then shake them up. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, did, he did his head some piranhas and they just shake them up. <laughs> like, yeah, it's terrible. I think it was a couple fish still stuck to his motherfucker head. <laughs> they peeled it off and, and just made another whole ball spot. Tiger Woods. <laughs> yeah, Tiger Wood need to go see LeBron's bar because the, he did that. That shit is fire. I'm gonna I'm show y'all. The- oh, you came out. Mm. All right. Okay. All right. What's gonna happen when that bitch starts sweating though? Nikki, you're not in there. <laughs> I'm gonna come on one out. Ain't nobody in there? Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up? Who here? Oh, thank you, Angela. Thank you. Hey, thank Angela. You. Yeah, sitting here beautiful this morning. That was uh, on purpose, my right? Flight after. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me yeah. yeah, tell you. What's going to happen when his head starts sweating, though? That's what I want to see. All this black shit going to be running down his face. <laughs> I, hope, I, hope it ain't be- I hope it ain't Beijing. I don't okay. think that's gonna happen. It don't happen when it run, when you got your head weave on. Why would it happen on his? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Whatever. I'm not talking about you, Timmy. I'm talking about Miss Monroe coming for the Ah, her and first of all, honey, be yes, brave. Oh, you be oh, they brave. Don't make yeah, that. I do. Don't I be weak. I do. I do. I be weak. That I do 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 be weak. I like it. I like it. If it makes him happy, then it makes me happy because he is fun. Okay, fine. Huh? With or without hair, nigga. I don't mean to get let it go. Check me out. If that nigga ain't had no money, came in the club with that motherfucker potholes in my lawn here. None of y'all talk to his ass. Exactly. <laughs> Word is born, B. Yo, word is born, B. 
this yo, this shit is bitchy, B. This shit killing me, I think, son. I think they used that yak this time, B. <laughs> I was with a one B, and he gave me a four, a number four. Yo, B, this shit Word is poor, son. Word is boy, son. He used that. He used that cheap Malaysian this time, son. Not the cheap Malaysian. All right, okay, come on, y'all. Last this. story. Uh, okay, so Forever Twenty One has officially tried it. So Forever Twenty One, the clothing retail store, has a plus size department, and they're also online. Well, they started, you know, sending out in the plus size packaging Atkins weight loss bars inside the packages that they sent from the online purchases of the plus size sec of the plus size section. It's trying it on these people's time. Okay. I just, yeah, like they started literally sending weight loss bars in their damn plus size sections or whatever. So when they were um so when they would send the orders out they would they were sending weight loss supplies with the plus size section clothes. Um, but oh, let me let me say, what size did they start at though? What size, what size, size starts at fourteen? At fourteen? Yeah. Okay, so some of you women out here, y'all just stop that. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers forever forty two. Cut that bullshit. Your ass is forever forty two. I'm forever twenty. Bitch, you forever forty two. <laughs> now forever forty two. That. So they also released the statement, and this is what they said. From time to time, Forever 21 surprises our customers with free test products from third parties in their e-commerce orders. The freebie items in question were included in all online orders across all sizes and categories for a limited time and have since been removed. This was an oversight on our part, and we sincerely apologize for any offense this may have caused to our customers, as this was not our intention in any way. Oh, so Bradley tried it. Bradley came for me, told my nigga her plus size and left. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. What's up, bro? She said, uh, it's too early for this shit. <laughs> yeah, plus size, gotta go. <laughs> Let me leave this conversation. They ain't talking about me. <laughs> oh, Bradley, you going down? Oh, that was a good one, Bradley. Let me get myself that was together. That's a lie. That was good. He said, plus size. I think they lied. Let Forever 21 bring one of them skinny bitches that got the Atkins diet bar. That no, no one, no one under a size 12 or came forward and said, I got one of the bars lies. too. They lies like they lied. So, no, so these people should stop ordering from Forever 21, Forever 22, and Forever 64. Oh, because they try to help your ass now? Fuck them. Nobody asked them. They should have gave you a gym membership, motherfuckers. Why they selling it? it? Why they selling it? Fuck. Huh? I, I don't need a plan membership. Baby. Because they're baby. trying to keep you forever 21 side. Baby. Oh, shit. Let's shit. boycott forever 21. No, don't, don't forget. Forever 21. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Big hey. bitches unite, baby. Right. Exactly, Angela. Angela said, oversight my ass. That's they right. knew what they was doing. Thank you. How about we stop shopping at them motherfuckers? Let them be forever. Fuck with the bitches Woo. that weigh 21 pounds. Okay, see how much motherfucking money you get now. Huh? They tired of y'all coming in there busting buttons. <laughs> <laughs> they tired of that shit y'all trying on shit. The teams or the pads and shit coming in there uh, trying that shit on. I know, I know, you over there. I don't know, first of all, has anybody ever seen Ashley Stone? What that bitch look like? <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you. She look like. She look like gone. That's what the fuck she sure. look like. Is she still Ashley Ashley Stewart? Stewart's around? They only she'll she'll size, she'll size seven. She'll size seven. And she has respect <laughs> for the big bitches, okay? Ah, no, she <laughs> don't. Huh? No, she don't. Let me tell you something. Forever 21 wrong as shit. That shit no. is foul, and they shouldn't have did it. They need to have people to think these things through, okay? Absolutely. If you look, if you I ain't said stretch your clothes out and put them back, because I will right. squeeze up 
Let me tell you something. Y'all right about that shit. I would squeeze into a motherfucking medium if it looked like it was stretching up. Yes, I will. I will too. <laughs> If, it got got right word, if my favorite word is in the tag, bitch, I will squeeze in it. If my favorite word span and dex is in that motherfucker tag, bitch, I am in it. <laughs> bitch, I am in there. You hear me? <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> span and dex. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. Bradley, that Bradley said they said plus size, not jumbo size. You shut the hell up, you shut the hell up. Bradley, you over the day. You over. <laughs> he up, he up for three this motherfucking morning. Y'all motherfucking Brad, Bradley getting the poison. Three. Not over three, three for three. I'm over three. I know y'all should be a nasty flick. Triple X, the X X X. That's that big shit. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got to get out of here. Um, What you got going on this week, little Timmy? I'm going on vacation. I'm going to relax. What? You going to relax? This yep, this weekend. Yep. All right, y'all, we'll be here to announce the lineup for August the 30th next uh, next week on Monday. So we okay. got some new stuff that we're trying to work out. I, ha- I got to get with the team to discuss it. We haven't been able to come together, but it's really exciting and I'm looking forward to it. We are having a good time and Monroe has been holding it down. So uh, Angie says, enjoy your vacation. Thank you. Yes, yeah. indeed. Have a good time. Uh, yes, Bruce said, jumbo size or no size is all right. That's right. That's right. So, Jay, that's right. All, all, all women are beautiful they in their beautiful. own special way. They are beautiful. Yes. But just like the song says Forever 21, watch out for the big girls, bitch. We it's come time. Out. It's time. It's time for the purple yeah, lady. Yeah, watch out, for the the watch out for the big girls. Watch out for the big girls. God damn, she stuck in my foot again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We had a good time, man. Thank you, little Timmy, for popping in here. Big Dale, while you on the road. And yeah, the yeah, road yeah. Holding it down. Keeping it yep. tight. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Have a safe weekend, everybody. All we'll see y'all on Monday. Yeah. Little Timmy, we got to go do uh, 420 Friendly Radio, all of us. When? I'm when? We got to get with Big Hoove. I'm not sure right. when. I'm but back. it should be fun. No, Bree, we have not found the Statue of Limitations yet, but we need no, to all go in search of it. Let's I love Bree. Bree, okay. I like you. Yeah, we looking forward to the new shit too, uh, Bradley. Ain't your pastor? No. <laughs> no that's, that's you rock too, pastor. Angela. That is not the pastor. Oh. But the pastor be cussing too. He uh. saw that three-piece suit we got confused, honey. That's right. That's what's happening. All right, Bree said, watch out for the little girls. All right, Bree. Dale, give us the final moment, final thought. Man, it's been an amazing week, and we're going into the to the future. Hope everybody had a great week, a great time. Just remember, man, be you. Don't allow nobody to change you. Love yourself, and the rest of the world will take care of itself, man. Y'all be good. We'll see y'all next week. Love y'all. Have an amazing weekend. And it's supposed to be nice, so enjoy the, enjoy the weather. <laughs>